हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर प्रॉब्लम इन द चैनल सो द केथ फैक्टर ऑफ एन इज़ द नेम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दे हैव गिवन टू पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स एन एंड के एंड दे आर टेलिंग अस दैट अ फैक्टर ऑफ एन इंटीजर एन इज़ डिफाइंड एज एन इंटीजर आई व्हेन एन मॉड आई इज इक्वल इक्वल टू जीरो दैट्स व्हाट इज अ फैक्टर राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर ट्वेल्व द फैक्टर इज थ्री एक्सेट्रा because twelve divided by three leaves no remainder and so on. Consider a list of all factors of n sorted in ascending order. Return the kth factor in the list or return minus one if n is less than k factors. So let's understand this using example. For example, they have given n is twelve, and they have asked us to find third factor in case the third factor exists. So see for the number twelve, the factors list is one, two, three, four, six, and twelve. Now. Third factor exists, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, six factors exist in total, so third factor can be easily found. So third factor is three, so we have to return three. Move on to next example. Next example number is seven. Only two factors exist, one and seven. They are asking us to find the second factor. K is two. That means we have to return the second factor. That means we have to return seven. Moving on next. N is four. K is four. So N is four. The number is four. It has three factors, one, two, and four. Now they have asked us to find uh, k is four. That means they have asked us to find the fourth factor. Now fourth factor doesn't exist because this number has only three factors, right? So there are only three factors. So we should return minus one in that case. Moving on, n is one. K is one. Only one factor, and they are asking us also to return the first factor. So we can easily return one. Moving on, example five. N is thousand. So thousand is a lot of factors, right? Now they are asking us to return the third factor. So third factor for thousand is four. So we so we can return four. So let's start basically. So it's actually a fairly simple problem. So we have to just iterate and we have to find if the number of factors or not. So let's start. So while iterating, we start from one because zero cannot be a factor. So for int i is equal to one and till i less than equal to n because uh, last number that means the number itself is a factor of it, right? Like we saw in the example of Seven. They were asking us to find seven itself. They were asking us to find second factor. So second factor would be seven. So we'll have to iterate till the end of the number. So i less than equal to n. Now uh, we'll have to check if i divides n. That is, if n mod i is equal equal to zero. That means i divides n completely. In that case, we can do count plus plus. So we'll have to declare some count variable in the beginning, and then we'll just increase count. So in case count becomes equal to k. That means the number that they are asking for, right? Then we can just return our uh, factor. So we can return i. Otherwise, we have to return minus one. So I think this should work. Let's see if there are any issues with this. Yeah, it's working. Let's submit and see. Yeah, it's working. That's it. Thank you.